Hey guys, Simcoder here, and today you are going to learn how we can improve upon our WhatsApp clone projects and actually um, make the user be able to create a chat room with multiple users and not just one. This is incredibly simple because of the work that we did in the previous lesson, so we have everything set up so that we can now um, do this. So, let's jump right into the project. And if you hear some construction noise, I'm terribly sorry, but my neighbors have been <laughs> cracking away at a wall or something like that for the past week, so I can't really do anything about that. But yeah, let's try to forget it and go into our um, Java uh, folder. And the first thing that we are going to do is to go into the user list adapter. Okay, so this is where we create the chat and we are going to change this as, uh, slightly, ever so slightly, uh, by going to the item user, and this is the um, the item that's dis displayed inside the recycler view, and we are going to change this in order to be able to select multiple users, and we are going to do that by using an element called a checkbox, and the checkbox is just something that you can click and a tick appears, so that we know that it is selected. So let's do it right now. So checkbox with wrap contents, height wrap contents. We are going to set the gravity to center and the ID will be simply add. Okay. We are going to now uh, fix this because, well, the checkbox appears underneath the name and the phone, but we want to, it to appear side by side. So let's first of all. Uh, engulf the both text views in a linear layout. We wrap content, wrap content, move them inside. The orientation will be horizontal in the case of these uh, two text views. Uh, vertical, very yet, I'm sorry. In the case of these uh, two text views, and the orientation of the main linear layout will be horizontal. Okay? Now we want for this checkbox to appear in the rightmost corner of the, the phone. And to do this, we can simply push the view by using a view, which will be 0 dp for both the height and the width. And the only thing that defines how big this uh, width is in the horizontal level is the weight. If we select, set the weight to 1, then the checkbox will be pushed to the rightmost corner and we are going to set the gravity of this linear layout to center as well and finally we are going to set the margin to 20 sp in the main linear layout margin let's use padding better yet padding okay and it appears uh, right in the center of the screen here but don't worry when it gets selected into a recycler view then it will shrink into uh, the correct size okay now jumping into the user list adapter we are going to change some things around obviously and the first of which is adding the um, the checkbox into our items that we have here and it says that it doesn't need to be public so i'm going to quickly remove this and say checkbox and add and and add equals to view dot find view by id dot uh, r dot id dot add okay as simple as that and now we are set okay the first thing that we are going to do is to remove this holder on click listener because right now we aren't going to create a chat the second the user clicks any of the 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 items in the recycler view uh, we want simply to change a boolean that says that the user is going to be selected for the chat room. And for that, we need to change the user object a bit. So we must add a boolean here. Private boolean. And uh, we are going to call it, let me just check, selected, I believe. Yeah, selected. Keep it simple equals to false and my keyboard simply changed the language that's why those strange characters appeared okay and now we are going to simply create the getter and the setter for uh, this boolean set 
set selected. And in the Android Studio, we just need to type S and the set selected will appear and G and the get selected will appear because it already assumes that you want to do that. Okay, so get selected, set selected, that's it. We don't need to do anything else in the user object. Now, all that we have to do is create a listener that will change that variable anytime the user presses uh, the user uh, that one the user wants in their chat room okay so that's really simple because uh, the checkbox item uh, view has um, a listener that's called set on check change listener and this will be called anytime the user uh, clicks on the checkbox so it is exactly what we need and in here we simply say user list dot get holder dot get adapter position dot set selected is checked. And this boolean will be true if the user changes it into a selected and otherwise if the user removes a selected. Okay, so it is really simple as you can see. I'm going to try and collapse this, okay, to make it look better. And now for the user list adapter, we are done, but we are not going to close this up yet because we must go into the find user activity and uh, add a button here. And that's because um, we aren't adding whenever the user clicks uh, an item in the recycler view. So we must have a button to know when the user wants to uh, close that all up and create a chat room with the users that he clicked on. So it is really simple, simply going to the activity find user. I'm going to open up the preview so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Button, and it will be match parent wrap contents. The ID, I'm going to call it create. And that for the text, we are simply going to say create chat room. Okay, as easy as that. We must set an orientation, don't forget it. We are going to say it is vertical, and that's it. We can close off the activity find user. So now, in the uh, onCreate method of the find user activity, we are going to uh, simply call the button to the find view by ID, and then uh, call a function which will be the create chat. Okay? So let's come in here and first of all say uh, it doesn't actually have to be a global variable, so I'm going to do it right here. So button and create equals to find view by id r dot id dot create import class. Don't forget that. I'll say m create dot set on click listener new on click listener and in here i'm going to call create chat which isn't yet here but i'm going to to move it uh, into this activity right away so let's go into the users uh, user list adapter simply grab this create chat because we aren't calling it in here right now uh, there's no problem with it we can simply remove it and paste it here okay uh, now, one thing is we no longer need the position because we are going to loop through the array list, the user list that we have in here. Uh, so we are going to access them all to see which one is selected or not. And if uh, for the users that are selected, we are going to add them to the new chat map and we are going to create the, um, the child inside their chat child. Uh, so yeah, it is incredibly simple and we actually already worked with this previously, but I'm not going to bother with, uh, you with that right now. I'm simply going to say for user object and user user list. So this will loop through the user list, which uh, remember this user list is the same that we have in here. So anytime the user list changes the selected, in this case, we are able to access it here because these variables are the same, okay? Now we say if end user dot 
is dot get selected bar yet and if this is true because remember this returns a boolean so it doesn't have to be equal to anything then we simply go into the new chat map and add this user so we can simply remove the user list dot get position and simply change it by m user okay that's it now the the other thing that we must do is to uh, do the same thing but for these specific users uh, child main child okay i'm going to move these uh, databases up top okay and they must be oops i'm sorry they must be below the get key okay like that and in here i also remove this user list and simply say m user okay as simple as that and finally in the end update the children and uh, the our uh, db with the um, the chat okay and that's it um, now we should be good but i want to make sure that the user chooses someone to be in the chat room before creating it okay so that's really important because if the chat room doesn't exist then or better yet if the chat room doesn't have any users in it then i don't want it to be created okay and to do that is really simple we simply create a boolean in here and say valid chat call it whatever you want and if valid chat then we simply call this now the valid valid chat will be turned to true if there is a new user so we can place the valid chat equals to true if at least one user is selected okay so that's it uh, now it should all be working because if you go into our chat activity you can see that nothing depends on the amount of users there are in the chat the only thing that does is the update database with message when we want to send the, the notification but because we already did the work in the previous lesson we don't have to change anything because it is already looping through the child object uh, the chat object uh, get users object array so it is already doing all of that so we don't have to worry about anything else so let's just run the app in two emulators and my phone and see if we are able to create a chat with three people so yeah let's do it okay so here we are i have two emulators uh, this is 1111, the number, this is 2222, and my phone is the 3333. And I have created them in my uh, authentication page, simply going to sign in method, phone, and you can add testing numbers in here. So this is the first emulator, this is the second, and this one is my phone. Okay, going to the database, and as you can see, uh, there are no chats enabled right now. I mean, there's one here because this was for te from testing, but don't worry, I'll erase it. And yeah, so now I'm going to go into the first uh, emulator. And as you can see, we have test two and test three. I'm going to add them both to the room. So create chat. And as you can see, the chat appeared in here and it appeared in my phone as well. So I'm going to go into my phone, open up the message and send a message through my phone. So hello everyone let's send that send and both of them appear in here okay that's exactly what we wanted and if I, I jump in here and send a message hello back send and my phone received the notification and in here I believe the notifications are a bit screwed up uh, and that's because um, I created a clone uh, from this emulator so this is a clone from this one and because of that the notifications appear a bit screwed up but on my phone it is working just fine and that's because it isn't a clone of anything but yeah and now we are able to send a group message to create group chats and that's it um, there is nothing left that i wanted to do um, i talked in the previous lesson about creating the names and everything of the user but because everything is done 
I mean, you just have to add it here. So there's not a lot left to do. And I believe I don't want bother uh, with that because, well, the, the main part of the code is done. We have the info here. So if you want to add more information to the users and whatnot, then everything is ready and set to go. So probably now I'll work on the redesign and uh, work on bringing that to you guys as fast as possible. Uh, but yeah, if there is anything else that you think this uh, tutorial needs, then please let me know and I'll take a look at it and evaluate if it is necessary or not. But yeah, that's all for today. Thank you all very much for watching. If these lessons have been helpful to you, then don't forget to subscribe and like because that helps me tremendously to bring you the best tutorials that I can. So yeah, I hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao!